responsible for our country. They're bad, sick people. They took two impeachments, and they wasted all that time and money and energy when we should be focusing on making America great again. They're horrible people. I mean, Nancy Pelosi started with nothing. She's worth $200 million. You know, she sold. She had a big position in Visa, and she sold it. And the day after she sold it, the Justice Department announced that they're under this massive investigation. You're a stock guy, right? They're under a massive investigation. So I don't know what happened, but I don't imagine the stock went up. History would tell you the stock went down. Did it go down a lot? It went down a lot. So they have this big position. She sells her stock. Hours after she sells her stock, they announce that Visa is under massive investigation. The stock goes tumbling down. She's a crooked person. She's a bad person. Evil. She's an evil, sick, crazy. Bad. Oh, no. It starts with a B, but I won't say it. I want to say it. I want to say it, but Franklin Graham said, Sir, I love your speaking ability and I love your storytelling. But honestly, it would be even better if you wouldn't use foul language. And I don't use much, you know, every once in a while. And it's never a real bad word. It's, you know, it's like never bad. And uh, so I try to adhere, but he's wrong about one thing. It is a little better when you use the foul language because there's more emphasis. No, but these are bad people. These are bad. Uh, Adam Shifty Schiff. I call him Pencil Neck. He's got the smallest neck I've ever seen. He's got about a four. And he's got the biggest head. So I don't know how the neck can hold the head. He's an unattractive guy, both inside and out. And this guy can end up being a senator. But don't worry, we've been beating him for eight years. We've been beating these people. We've been beating them. They impeach me, we win. They send me down the Records Act, the Records Act. And we won in Florida. We won. We win. But you know, we have to take a lot of time, a lot of time, a lot of money, which is what they want. A lot of time, a lot of money. This way, we can stop the one guy we don't want to fight is Trump. We can stop him from getting the Republican nomination. And I got the Republican nomination record time. Record time. And let's keep going, and maybe we can stop him from winning the presidency. But uh, that's looking pretty good tomorrow, I'll tell you. They give, they give us probably a 95. What do you think, a 95 percent or something like that? But don't believe it. Don't believe it. Go out and vote. Remember? The story of Hillary. Just remember, that's why I tell you the story. She was in bad shape when she called me up that night. And by the way, she called up and conceded, and then spent seven years on saying how she was a good sport. Oh, she's a wonderful, she's a lovely person, crooked Hillary. But you know what? She's smart. And, but she wasn't like, she lied a lot. I mean, a lot. But nobody lies like this Kamala. Kamala, he will not ever frack in Pennsylvania. My whole case is fracking. And he will open the borders immediately. No, no, no. I'm going to close the borders. However, if people want to come in, they can come in legally. They have to come in through a process. We need people. But Kamala is... I mean, this is known. She's a very low IQ person. And we don't need a low IQ individual. We've had that for four years. And our country's going down the drain. We're going to turn our country around. I will end inflation very quickly. You know how we're going to end it? By drilling and drilling and drill, drill, drill. Energy is going to bring everything down. Energy is going to bring it down, and I will stop the invasion of criminals coming across our border. I will strengthen our military. I will restore peace in the world. 
And I will rescue the American dream. We're going to have the American dream back soon. Together, we will begin the four greatest years in the history of our country, and we will launch the most extraordinary economic boom the world has ever seen. If you vote for Lion Kamala, you will have four more years of misery, failure, and disaster our country may never recover from. I don't believe that our country can take any more of this I, I, without just gone. I don't believe it can take any more. It's going to be uh, — can't take this. This is — this is — this is abnormal abuse, abnormal abuse. And uh, I heard somebody said the wall. I built 571 miles of wall, which is much more than I said I was going to build. And, you know, it really worked. Walls work. Two things work. What are the two things? Walls and wheel. They're the only two things that never get obsolete, right? Walls and wheels. A wall and a wheel. It's always going to be around. Other things, they have the beautiful computers. You know, you buy a computer. Oh, it's the greatest. Two weeks later, it's obsolete. That goes on. I don't know how people do it. We have the king of computers. We have the king of everything endorsed me. Elon Musk. And he brought that rocket ship down two weeks ago. I never said 22 stories. It's like monster. You don't know, is it big or small? It's a monster. 22 stories. And you know that story. I've told it a couple of times. I love the story because I, I really, the best part is I'm talking to one of the most important guys in the world, and I say, wait a minute, could I just watch something? I see something on tel I have the television muted, right? I'm looking at this crazy racket. And I saw it leaving a little while before, and it was all beautiful white. Now it's absolutely burned to a crisp. You know, it goes 10,000 miles an hour. The heat is at levels that nobody can experience. So it's a little, you know, rough. It's a little rough on the paint job. And it's coming in, and I'm watching, and I'm holding this very important person, one of the most important people. But, you know, when you were the president, and now it's very possible, like maybe 95 percent, that you're going to be the president again, they hold. No, they hold. So I say, uh, do you mind holding for a minute? I have to see this. And I put the phone down. That guy was holding, like, for an hour and a half. I don't, he never got off the phone. He, I wish he would have hung up. I would have felt better. Because I picked up the phone later. I said, oh, wow. Well, hello? Hello? He goes, hello. Anyway, but it was so exciting, so I'm watching it. And this monstrous thing is going down, right? And it's coming down. It's First of all, it's doing all sorts of flips up in the air. This, I would not want to be on that sucker. I don't care how good Elon is. I said, Elon, you wouldn't get me in that ship under any circumstances. But it's coming down. It's a little rough. And now, all of a sudden, it starts to slow down as it gets to the ground. Then it starts to move over. Then it gets a little bit out of control, it looks like. A little out of control. And the left part of the bottom is going to hit Rick. Just rip that big gantry. That's this, you know, whatever the hell it is that holds it. <laughs> and it's coming in. Oh, and I didn't know it was Elon's. I just assumed, you know, he loves this stuff. He's in a class. But it's coming in, and it's going to rip the gantry. I say, oh, this is bad. This is going to be bad. I close my eyes. All of a sudden, boy, you have this massive flame coming out of the left-hand side of the bottom. It was this big jet engine. It pushes it away, and it's coming down, and then it settles into a plate, and then those arms grab it like you grab your baby, just like you grab your little baby. And it hugged it and just put it down, and there it was. There it was. 